Hey guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Um, I did a thing. Um, this is why my channel is called Whoops, I Did It Again Co. Because I just keep bloody doing it again. But I just, I don't know. I've been seeing these everywhere. Like, on all the my favourite YouTubers um, that I watch. That have got the same kind of planning style that I'm transitioning into well I'm not transi I can't even speak I'm not transitioning into minimal planning I'm both but oh I did a thing guys I did a thing I went on court pens traveller's notebook so I I googled and I watched every YouTube video and you know I did I did everything I'll be my uh um order and i just i just fell in love i fell in love and i thought well two reasons one when i went away on holiday um with the kiddies and hubby um i took my weeks um because it's my like smallest planner if you like to take and i could have made it smaller or i could have made like an an a6 work and just take that but there's something to, but i want but then i thought you know different let's get into this different sizes um different inserts and things for different things i like the idea of that so like i want to use it as a traveler's notebook and also a wallet so that i'm not look at all this so guys i haven't looked at this yet I don't know how I'm going to feel. Oh, you get an extra band, I know that. Um, some things that I wanted to get, I couldn't get. But, okay, she's she's toasty in there. Okay, okay, okay. So you get a green band as well. Liking it, liking it. I don't know if that's a jump band or you can change the band on your thing. Oh, so I went for camel. Oh, oh she's so so diddy that is so tiny the leather's smooth I was going to go with a gallon leather but um, it would have took too long to get to me oh wow and you get like a free little insert in there as well a blank one oh that is so so cute. Let me get my um, my old passport out. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely a passport size wallet. The one thing I was worrying about is overhang. I don't know if it's because it's got this insert in it. But obviously, I'm going to be putting more than one insert in it. Um, I don't know if that's going to annoy me. People put charms or something on there. Let's just get a passport in here. Yeah, so it's definitely passport size. The pages are tiny. Here's me. I can't even get on with an A6 because I find it too small. And look at this. Let me do you a comparison. An easy one. Oh. That's not easy. This one's easy. So it just pop open. So this is an A6. And this is a passport page. It's definitely, definitely teeny, teeny, tiny. Which I like because... I can chuck it in my purse because at the minute, let me see if I've got it to hand. I carry that and this. So I carry these two things in my handbag. This has got some of my most used cards, some change, and then this is. The rest of the cards that I don't really use that often. So to transfer them into here, I thought 
I didn't think I was going to like the camel. I didn't think I was going to like the camel, but I actually do. I, I think that's gorgeous. What would it look with a green band on? All oh, right, let's have a look at what other goodies I bought. So I did get the uh, the matching camel pen holder, although I have I bought a new pen. I bought a Kaweki Sport, but it wasn't in stock, so. Um, I'm waiting for that to be delivered separate. Now, first of all, I've heard this is really stiff to get on. So you have to prise it apart. And also, the thickness doesn't fit. I mean, Let's be real, this is the oh, this is the pen I always use. And that fits. What does a what does a pen look like next to it? A normal sized pen. Oh, I suppose it's not too bad. Not too bad. It doesn't match the oh I've got a brown one. I've got a brown one. Uh, uh. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad it's just I've got to prise this bit open a little bit to get it to get it in so there's my little pen holder let me get rid of some of this stuff so let's do inserts so first off I got a a monthly calendar because I feel like that's all I need really it's just so cute these little things yeah a monthly cream there and then you get your travelers company one of these a monthly is the only thing I'm gonna need really so you get a little blank one there I love the little faded stamp okay so you get one two two of those don't really know what those pages are for because you only get two oh okay january february march april may june july august september october november december i suppose you could use this like if in, in a wallet if it's a new spend but these are the monthlies so if i just put like just keep this monthly up to date so all I really need to carry around with me. So after all the monthlies, you get a calendar, a world calendar. Some empty pages at the back. Oh, and a departure card for travellers. How cute is that? So that is my diary. Another thing that I thought was really, really cool, especially for a trip like when we went away, so I don't know if I'm going to back plan this or save it, but it's an accordion fold paper and it said it unfolds like a map and you get 13 accordion papers. Let's go out. So it opens up like this and then obviously you've got the whole of the other side as well and then it just folds back in on itself i don't know i just fell in love with that i thought that's so cute for a little trip away like we went for four nights and i could definitely fill that in and then that's just like one little booklet of your little holiday that you can keep forever and that's in the cream as well so what shall i do next okay i'll do this one um it's lightweight page lightweight paper so this one was meant to be more like the uh Tomo river paper and it has 80 pages let's have a feel of these pages okay they're really light 
and really see through really light really see through so the one thing i didn't manage to get and i still haven't found it is like a pencil board they were on amazon and i was only knowing about buying the tn and then um they sold out on amazon so if anyone knows anywhere in the uk or anyone has a spare pencil board because i know that you can put the pencil board underneath and it'll give you like dot grid i meant to buy a dot grid folder but by the looks of it i haven't bought one so so i've got an accordion a monthly and i've got two planes now i think they're the same amount of pages but just look how much thinner the tom and river paper one is because it's so small right next thing this seemed really cool to me it is called the letter pad and basically oh look at that you you can just it's like a it's like a notepad like a normal notepad like like one of these so the pages they just pull out like that rather than the Tomo River paper one. It says it's perforated. It says it's perforated. Yeah, it is. It is. But it's not just going to tear out of there easy. Whereas these tear out really easy. So that's like your cover page. Oh, that's all your pages. So you're getting a grid and you're getting... And the idea is you can write a little letter and then when you're done you can just rip it out. So that would be good for like grocery lists. Like on the go if I if I remember a grocery list or something that I need from the shops. I thought that would be really cool because you can just pull them out extra. I love, 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 love the colour of that. And that is it for inserts. I do need to get a dot grid, I think. Although I don't know because I don't know like what i'm gonna do in here i just oh I'm, i don't know so what else did i get i have ordered a craft folder but that's coming from somewhere else because court pens i got all this from court pens by the way court pens didn't have the craft folder so that's come in i've also ordered what else have i ordered um jump bands the little pack of jump pans pans so this is just a folder and you can have it either way i've seen people fold it the other way so that you can get to your card straight away it doesn't affect like the zipper or anything because as it is it's like facing inwards so that's that and then this is a clear folder and i did see on someone's video they were like how am i meant to use that and i get what they mean because it's like that so i'm not really sure unless you stick it in a in a pocket because that's not going to go on rings like that so i'm not really sure because I can't put it in a ring. I suppose I could use it as a cover of one of the others and then put it, put stuff in. Yes, I'm not really sure. So if you know how people use these. And then I was umming and ahhing and umming and ahhing about this because this one was like 30 something pounds. But I thought if I'm using it as a wallet, then this is a must have. And then I was like, what colour do I get? And don't you think they match? Gorgeous. This is a little, like, fold-out little wallet accordion style. So you've got, your like, your pockets there. And then you've got a pocket there. Let's have a look at what this looks. Get rid of that. What this looks like in here here that's gorgeous it's gorgeous so i was thinking you know i don't carry much change but what change i do carry i can put in there and then maybe notes in there if this is what i'm having 
as my front cover oh and also i've had this a while i bought it as a spare but you've all seen my um sticker release paper when it when it's filled up this is an ideal thing to travel with because you can just take specific things that you know you're going to use so i had a spare one of those so i have that as well so now i've just got to figure out how i want to set this bad boy up and i don't know it's it's quite nerve-wracking it's quite nerve-wracking i don't know if i want like my cards as soon as i open her up but I do need to have access to my cards. So, decisions, decisions. So, what I need to do first is take this out of there, like so. I believe, I believe this is a spare one of those, but it can also be used to like jump band these together how do you find the center so another trick that i picked up is once you find i don't know where the center is Let's do it on one where you can see the centre because you can see the lines. I'll try that one. Let, let's do the... Okay, so I've done that one. Let's do this one. So what someone said is it doesn't so much matter when it's sewn, but when you've got... Um, when you've got staples, then turn a page. So don't actually do it. I know this isn't a proper one because of that. And have I even done that properly? What's going on? What have I done? Okay. There you go, so you've jump, I've jump banded two together, which I can put in. I don't know how I want to set this up, guys. I'm really like, ooh, I've watched so many videos, and they're like, rah, 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 rah. they're super speedy with their um, putting things together. <laughs> So I don't think I need this like on the daily. In fact, I know I don't because I only want to use these when I go on trips. This um, I could have in there as like a, a scrawly down notebook, but I like I like the uh, more muted tones, but I could cover that. So that's not a problem. So at the minute I've got some paper and I've got my monthly. I could also, let me see if I can remember how to do this. So you've got insert one, insert two, insert three. So you do the last two first and a lady that I watched did it on the back. Ooh. Did it on the back there. And then obviously this one will go through there. And then how'd you get this one in? Okay. I'm sure I should put three on one band. That can go through there and then this one through there. And then if I make sure, you know, that they're all in straight. Do 
Now these technically aren't designed to hold as many books, but how do I feel about that? Letter pad, and then what I could do is So I want my cards, maybe I have this that way, so the cards are at the back and then slip this under them all. And then, so I am left with a little overhang, but I can put cash in there. So I don't think my cards at the back is any good. I think I'm going to need my cards at the front. With how many cards I use, because it's only going to be... It's only going to be like a few cards in there, cash in there. Now, how do we feel? I've got a craft folder Ooh. on its way. I mean, that's so cute. That is so, so cute. Like, honestly, I didn't expect the profile of it to be so slim. Like it's, it's really compact and so easy to just carry around. I mean, I think my phone's bigger. Yeah. Oh, do you know I told you about the um, tea towel that Willow made for the Jubilee? If you didn't watch my last video, basically she entered a competition and like with the whole of her school, to, to design a tea towel and then they picked a winning tea towel and this is and they picked willows so they're going to make these tea towels for everyone on the estate and everyone gets a jubilee tea towel made by little willow bear which i think is really cute i really like that i really like that do i want this like to open like that. Do I want it to open like that? So you see that straight away? I'll tell you what guys, from watching the videos, there is a million and one ways you can do this. Maybe if I have it like that, cards, cash, coins, let me have a look through my cards and just see which cards I can put in to, um, to, to see how it goes. Give me okay. two seconds. So what I have done is I've put my Moshu's cards in here and I've put some coins in here. And then normally, when I use this anyway, I just fold up cash and put it in there. So I can either put the cash in there, or I've still got this back one to put cash in there. It's just sitting a bit funny. I think it just needs, you know, playing around with, it needs a proper jump band on there, I think. But, um, yeah, so it sits, well, it's not, these are slipping. I don't know. If I have got a craft folder come in, like I said, and that's going to sit on top to protect that bit of leather. have got minimal... This string feels weird for some reason. have got minimal hangover 
but that doesn't bother me. Let's see about the pen holder, shall we? So I'm guessing they slip on like that. Is that the right way? Or is it that way? Yeah, that's the back, I believe. And then if I put my pen in there, which is a squeeze, but it goes in. And then, oh, well that's not good, is it? It's hard to get it, get it on. But if I want to grab a pen quick, it's just going to come off, so that's no good. So I think I'm going to have to figure out a new pen holder system. I have got a um, gallon leather clip, but it's massive. So I'm sure there's smaller ones out there. Because... Um, I know that people use it to hold like the pages open and things but this one is definitely too big uh, I don't think it'd be too big for for like a regular but for this size but if you saw in my haul the other day I bought these index clips from WH Smiths in the UK they were only seven pound which I thought was a bargain definitely a bargain so let's see oh that's cool how they're all like that right, let's see how fiddly these are so if I want to put if I put it I don't know how many pages it's built for if I put that on there oh I like that that's cute so that will take me straight to there then I've got that and then I think I want the writing pad next to how do I get this out I've done it on the cardboard so maybe if I do it I can't get it out maybe if I do it how how's this gone on because it's the letter writing pad it's slipping behind so if I want that then this, then that. So let's try through the middle, shall we? See how that goes. I think a lot of this is messing around with it. Just messing around with it, getting it to stay still. But I am on the hunt as well for like um, specialty papers. So like in the UK, I don't know where to get my specialty papers from. I think because I've put this the opposite way around it's meant to go, it's being a bit stubborn, but I think the more that I use it, I don't think there is a center to this. So if I just, do I hook the back stronger than the front? if I just hook it there is that gonna make things sit a bit better again little overhang doesn't massively bother me but so I've got my monthly or do I want my monthly at the front? See guys, I could go on and on forever with this. I don't know if it's boring you, but I had so much fun watching people put it in, take it out, put it in, take it out. Now this, 
I would um, definitely use for going away. Um, and this, I was thinking as well, I'd use this for going away. But I don't know if I would, because I think I'd, I'd scribble everything down that I'd done. And then I'd set this up, you know, when I got home, when I could print out the pictures and everything. So... Yeah, I think I need, like... I need to decide what I want first. This... The whole thing isn't sitting right on the strings. I don't know if that will annoy me. But that is so cute. I wish that the, um, the pen holder worked. But you can just stick a pen in there. I just don't understand why they'd make it if... It didn't work as a pen holder, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm guessing it goes that way. And then maybe you can, like, clamp it. Like, really clamp it closed. I mean, Chris has got, like clamper it, it's just gonna come off like if I don't hold it it's just gonna come off and then even if I did that I think it's gonna come off let's see again put it on like that I don't like that it sticks out way too much yeah I think I'm gonna send this back because I don't think, you know, that's working. I don't think it's working for me. Right, so we have the monthlies first. And then I have a letter pad, which I think I prefer there because I can just scroll down my notes there. And then I have the lightweight paper. I wonder how this fits into the whole equation. Like where, oh excuse me, I'm just in a world of my own chatting along to myself. Like where and why you'd need that. And like thinking about it, like would I sticker this up? See, the thicker they get, the less that this goes out. I don't know. I don't know where I've just stuck that then either. Oh, this is so much fun. Like the profile, I love. I love how slim it is. Yeah, I can proper see myself using this. So I bought a Kweki Sport, um, which is and I bought it in like a tanny cover, which is a fountain pen. But I'm not sure if I need to use that. And do I want to use, like I bet this paper, I wonder how this paper is. I'm gonna have to. This is a Enagel Cleaner. It says 0 0.4, but I think, yeah, it's got a 0 0.5 in it. Hello, pen test. Yeah, that goes right through. So I don't know if I'd be able to use that side. Let's have a look at this one that comes with it. It's a bit thicker. Well, I prefer how it writes on this. 
although for some reason I'm writing like a spaz, it doesn't go through as much as that one. Um, how does it take? How does it take? Let's see this lightweight paper. So I do use dark colours. Well, that's not too bad. And that's okay. Definitely the thicker paper is lighter. Let's try a mild liner. Again, not too bad. Yeah, this one, the paper on this one is definitely not showing through as much. Let's see what it's like. Oh, didn't want to do that. I'm trying to get my vanishing point off my A5. I'm trying to love this pen still guys, I'm absolutely trying, uh, so this has got, um, I'm not sure what ink's in this actually, I don't know why it's doing that because it's not empty, I don't think. Okay, it's empty. We should be able to see from that. Does smudge quite quickly. Same on that one. I think that one smudges more, but obviously, you know, if you've got fountain pens, then you know that they're going to smudge on this kind of paper this paper just feels like a different quality a bit thicker but I think it's going to take the same so yeah I'm not sure if I would use the um, Queco Sport that's coming so I'll see um, when that comes on my haul I also picked up these which I showed you um these are little paper clips so like this one is an ink pot and a fountain pen this these ones are books these ones you can see are scissors and then these ones are Ooh. these ones are like um binder clips so if I have to go to the first page, let's see how this goes, shall we? I'm going to want it the other way. Well, see how easy that rips. That's ripping off already just by me touching it. See, they don't stick out as much as these. These feel a lot more secure, these brass ones, than those that's going to rip the page. But on thicker paper, like, I can't believe how easy that comes out. I know I'm just rambling on guys if you're still here. <laughs> but like, I think, you know, that's pretty much the setup. I'm going to try not to baby this because I want to just chuck it in my purse and off we go. You know that's quite quick to get to. The coins are fine. I've got my monthlies, I've got my rip-off paper and then I've got my really thin paper now people like that because it is thin but i think i am going to exchange it exchange change it 
Oh, that's gone in the wrong way. I think I'm going to change it for the the one that comes with the book. So let's just make sure they're central. I do need to centre this. I don't want to because of how delicate the pages are. I don't want the book to just start coming apart but I wonder if it's more centred will it sit more centred oh it's going to annoy me that thing don't know if I've got a like charm to put on it you know those like leather tags you can get like I can't find those in the UK even I don't know where to get like little brass charms from or anything I don't know where to get anything from guys because I'm like completely new so the only thing I'm not sure about is this folder and this pen holder which I think I'm going to send back because I don't think I'm going to need it. I don't think I will get this insert again. Everyone swears by it, like, because it's so thin, but yeah, I'd have to use a ballpoint pen on it. And, you know, maybe I could find a ballpoint pen that I love, but because I'm so used to TNs and stuff, uh, because TNs, because I'm so used to, like, Hobonichi and stuff, I'm, I'm liking the, the gel pens let me just see if i can find like a charm or something i've got this coffee monster co one that is currently on my um planner spot pouch but that could go on there because you can take it all the silver off and just use the plastic and put the plastic on there or well, i've also got this clip and i think this one's from once more with love and i could put that one on there this is um, like metal, but this one's like a rubber. So I'm feeling like this one will do the least damage, but I'll have to get Hubby to sort that out for me because <laughs> I haven't got a clue how to do that. So the change is bulking down the bottom, which is fine. You know, give it a shake. Pen loop, I'm not too sure about because the one that comes with it is rubbish but the only thing that's going to annoy me about that is when I want to get some money out I've got to pull that out I've got to do that I've got to go to where the money is so I don't think I like it in there maybe that's where this could come in handy Maybe if I fold this over. I have it. If I have it like this. I can put some pictures in here you know, the kids and stuff. And then I can, I was gonna say I can stick a pen loop, I could put stamps and stuff in there. And then I could stick a pen loop. The only thing, the only way that I can see it working is if I stick a pen loop on the leather, but I'm really not sure how that will how that will work either I really don't know I really really don't know what to do about the pen situation I have seen a few people do like um, what's it called like alterations to the thing and they've like added a leather strip on but the problem is when you just want to get 
your card quick you're not going to be wanting to hold the pen and that's where I don't think this is going to stick on this leather enough because it's elastic and you want it as close as you can get let's see let's see if you like sticking to leather I think I got these off Amazon or Aliexpress or somewhere I can't believe I've run out of them you could also I suppose put the the pen on the pencil board maybe it will stick to this because it's a bit rough get in there so let's let's see how you're sitting now shall we so we've got that and then we've got quick access to cash and I need my pet that's much better and it's funny how these cheap things sometimes are much better than the expensive things. I don't know why this isn't sitting. Sitting well. I, it, it's just a thing with the Traveller's Notebooks. I, I've watched enough of the videos to know that it's a thing that they stick out. And because the, I really like that mustard colour, it doesn't massively bother me. Let's get this pen back. In here any pen will fit in here now as well because it's on elastic and then I'll have my little coffee monster co charm on the front I could put this one off there I've seen people do that yeah I think I'm happy with that I think I'm happy it's like a little wallet and I want the craft folder in I want to put some pictures in here I also want to decorate the books I think so the calendars first and then the letter pad which I'm going to use another one of these for I'm going to use them. Ugh, come on, out. I'm going to use them for the front page of each one. So, which way did I put it? Put it with the, the back going back. You have to be really careful with this paper because let's move you let's move you down move you down just a little bit and then we've got this one which is a thicker type of paper in fact I've ordered a grid one I ordered it last night with the craft folder and let's move you along there so we've got the three little tabs it's the same as opening a purse really you've got to unzip the purse so all you've got to do with this is take it off and open it up. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. What do you think guys? Do you like it? I like it, it's cheered me up. 
um, I've just been seeing them so everywhere, like making a comeback. And I was like, I didn't want to do the regular because I assume the regular is like the same size as the weeks, really. And I didn't want to do that. So, um, and A6 has obviously worked so well for me in the past. Big fat lie. Um, so I thought I'd go smaller. And, but I love it. I do love it. My husband wants one as well, so I think I'm going to get him one for Father's Day. But I think I'm going to get him the Fields Note size because I just think that's a bit better. So cute. Isn't it cute? Oh, I love it. Can't wait to have my little charm on. Is that charm going to look right? I think it will because of the black now on there and then that on there. And I just think that will look really cute. So, if you've made it this far, guys, then you obviously love me loads and like listening to me ramble absolutely rubbish. So I think I'm going to send these two back, unless I can figure out a way. I might put that in the craft folder with some things in. This, definitely pointless. Don't buy one. Like, I don't see the point of this if it's just going to slide right off the notebook. And I think they're like five, six quid. So, you know, that's five, six quid that I can... Uh, Spend on another insert. It's not heavy, really. It's quite light. Um, yeah, I really like it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this extra long video of me rambling and playing around with inserts. Um, and I'm probably just going to keep playing around with her, like the more stuff I buy and things. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.